turn-based strategy is not the niche, back corner of the room dweller that it once was. Many games have worked hard to bring this genre to the forefront of gaming in refreshing, accessible, and importantly, approachable ways. Fire Emblem has been working at it for years, while the more recently notable Baldur's Gate 3 brought everyone into that D&D 5e mindset like never before. Songs of Conquest, now at the end of its reign in early access, is stepping up to further this reach in a game that has a bit of Octopath, a bit of Fire Emblem, and a lot of other little things that come together to build an enjoyable strategy experience. It doesn't reinvent the turn-based wheel, but it does do enough to stand alongside the strategy giants we already know and love. Upon starting the game, you'll see a few options available to you. Campaign, Conquest, and Multiplayer. Campaigns are the story of Songs of Conquest, and there are four to play through centered around each of the factions in the game, each with multiple challenging levels to strategize your way through. The official campaigns themselves are thorough and increasingly difficult, and offer up some intriguing characters and information about the world and the factions that inhabit it. However, there are also community campaigns, which allow you to browse and play maps made by other players. Community-made content is always something I appreciate in games, as it not only gives you near-endless content to play through, but it also allows the community to push the boundaries of the game itself, and create some truly incredible things. There are already so many available to check out from the early access period, and that number is only going to grow. Alternatively, you could spend hours using the map editor to create your own maps and campaigns, which is easy to use and, honestly, dangerously entertaining. I might just be back to make some cool little locations. As for the gameplay itself, if you're familiar with those big strategy games I mentioned earlier, then this is going to be pretty familiar and easy to pick up. While it does boast a charming art style that feels reminiscent of Square Enix's HD 2D, the fundamentals are there in how it feels to play. Each campaign, you take the role of a weaver who can lead the charge of conquest and amass followers to fight for them, while using magical powers to grant buffs and advantages on the battlefield. You'll click to move about the map, interact with points of interest, towns, and hidden treasures. Then, when encountering a group for combat, a fight will begin. Here, you can choose to either take part in a manual battle, in which you will place your fighters and control them each turn, or you can select Quick Battle, which will automatically carry out the battle and determine the result for you. Quick Battles are something I really love having access to, as sometimes, battle after battle, you just want to sit back and pit your forces against one another, and some breathing room for the strategy side of things is nice every once in a while. There are even some elements of town building, wherein you will use funds and resources collected to build up ruined settlements. This will mean each building offers specific advantages each turn, and this feature is much more prominent in the Conquest game mode. In Conquest, you can play on existing maps, pick from some pre-built scenarios, or generate a procedural map. Then, between two and eight players can build up a base and fight to conquer the map. You can play as whichever faction you want, but can also set teams between the players to decide who you'll be up against. It's another element that adds some replayability to the game, and with so much more planned beyond the 1.0 launch, I can't wait to see how the game grows and evolves from here. I've dipped into a lot of these types of games before, and while I'm one of the many who was enamoured with Baldur's Gate 3 last year, turn-based strategy is something I'm by no means an expert in. I love playing these sorts of games, but I have no experience with the real hardcore side of the genre, and higher difficulties that require more strategy is something I still need a fair bit of practice in. That said, Songs of Conquest still feels welcoming giving you the option to choose from varying difficulty levels, set up custom games with specific options to practice the things you want to practice, and yet still has everything a long-time strategy fan is going to want from the experience. 
It's really a complete package of what you want in a turn-based strategy game, whoever you may be. Songs of Conquest knows what kind of game it wants to be, and knows its audience. And while it won't push any boundaries for the genre, it's an excellent choice for existing fans. Or, if you're looking to get started with strategy games and hope to grow your experience, then this game also has everything you need to do so. With a welcoming difficulty curve and paced introduction of mechanics, various modes to practice and play with friends, and an extensive world of interesting characters and factions, Songs of Conquest is a golden example of turn-based strategy games done right, with everything you could want included.